so I am on my way to pick up our Azur standard order and I decided to go on ahead and do this video because we have quite a few people who have been joining our drop over the last six months and when they show up they don't know a whole lot um, and what I mean by that is a lot of people don't know how Azure Standard works for the in-person pickup and for the online pickup. So my goal today is to kind of show you both. Now every drop coordinator is going to do things differently. That being said, this will give you a general idea of how things work both in person and online and hopefully will create a bit less confusion for any of you who are looking at setting up an Azure Standard account who are interested in joining an Azure Drop Point. So I'm going to go on ahead and finish getting us over to our drop point and the drop point is an area where the tractor trailer can pull in easily and everybody can line up to unload and yes you will be unloading your goods from a tractor trailer and it looks like our tractor trailer is just now pulling in as I am pulling in. So. I was running a wee bit late this morning, but that's okay. So let me go on ahead and get off here. I will kind of do a little bit of B-roll. I do want to be respectful of the people who are picking up out here because not everybody wants their face on YouTube or even on a camera. Um, yeah, so. Let me go on ahead and sign off and I will start showing you a little bit of how this works. Okay? Everybody's hopping out. We're going to go on ahead and start getting lined up. Now our drop coordinator puts down um, tags with our names written on them and how many cases we have. When you are online, and I will try to show you this on the um, order setup part, Online, you will be able to um, see how many cases you have before even coming and arriving so that you can basically guess how many and know how many cases you have. So if something is missing, you can contact Azure Standard. They're really awesome to work with as far as um, customer service goes. So if anything is damaged or you're missing something, they're Johnny on the spot usually. So um, my name will be on a tag, as I said, with the case amount and we just unload everybody and do everything alphabetically. Now, as I stated at the beginning of this video, every drop coordinator does things differently. So they may do it by order number, they may do it by only your first name or only your last name it's kind of up to them in regards to that. So just kind of touch base with your drop coordinator to figure out how they have things organized. and I am cold so we are gonna work on getting all of this into the house quickly and I will 
see you back for the online portion of the ordering system and showing you how all of that works. Okay, so I'll see you later. Okay, so it is later in the evening and obviously I am no longer wet or cold, but I did state that I was going to pop on here and kind of walk you guys through my ordering process on Azure Standard and give you some tips and tricks for ordering things for yourself. So let me go on ahead and get you guys into position, get Azure Standard pulled up so that you can see how it works and also how I kind of navigate some of the things that pop up through the ordering system. Now, the website for Azure Standard, as far as I know, they don't have like an app per se, but they do have a website that functions very, very well on the phone. So if you're on the go at all and it suddenly pops into your head that you need to put something on your Azure Standard order, it functions just as well on your phone as it does on your home computer. So just be aware of that. All right, so let me go on ahead, get you into position and show you how this works. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so this here is going to be the basic order screen. Now, you will have up here in the corner, of course, your order. So I'll just go on ahead and take you over to one of the things that you will see is that they've got little notes. Now, I don't have an example here because nothing is out of stock. However, if something by chance goes out of stock, so let's just say the prairie beef summer sausage has gone out of stock on the order, I leave it on my order. I know that there are a lot of people that have removed it, but what I've found is that when I leave it on the order, because so many people remove it, there is still a chance that because I didn't remove it and other people have gotten, say, alternatives to this summer sausage, I may still get the order in. Now there's no 100% guarantee of that obvious to our home screen. And obviously you've got a shop with a drop down. You can look at food, you can look at health and beauty, nutritional supplements. I've even ordered plants on here before. Um, they have feed for animals on here as well. You can also come down and scroll down here and they will have everything divvied up in a scroll screen. They will also give you little notifications up here of any sales or uh, discounts on certain products that they have featured for the month. So let's just go into this apple cider vinegar here because that's a good stock item. So the apple cider vinegar that you see here and get just a 16 fluid ounce and it will even break down the cost for you between the different sizes. So oh, on the last order, I had gotten the gallon because a gallon is $12.39 of organic raw apple cider vinegar, which is for us about oh, half the cost. You are doing things in a bulk fashion. So you will have to learn to budget for that. Instead of going weekly or bi-weekly, you will have to think differently and plan a little bit differently. And it took about two months for us to really get the hang of that aspect. But once we did, we were able to adapt fairly easily to things. All right, so I've clicked into here on one of the types of pears because it is a little bit of a pear season um, and I do enjoy pears this time of the year. But the thing of it is, is you will have over here or down below, depending upon how things are positioned with the information, 
it will tell you the quantity and there may be some items that you only get to select a certain quantity and there are quite a few fruits and vegetables that are that way on here so just be forewarned if you cannot do something with 20 pounds of pears because that is a lot of pears um then this may not be a good option for you however i do know of several people in our area that go in on products like this and they will half it quarter it basically just divvy it up between the families and then divvy up the cost as well so that is also another option if you are ordering on here in that sort of a bulk way um obviously on the video you saw us unloading it really is a team effort so just when you go make sure that you are there and willing to help out even if you have a limit on how much you can lift just be willing to take even the smaller boxes and that does make a difference especially with all the other people who are unloading so just do what you can um and pretty much everybody will be able to work with you and will not have a problem with you i have yet to have an issue or see an issue in our area about anybody taking parts of orders from people but i've heard of issues along those lines at other drops as i said i did i have yet to experience that here at our drop zone so just be aware um especially if you live in a larger city that when you're putting stuff down keep an eye out around you for yourself and for the other people who are uh, going in on the order because it's a bunch of you that are kind of having to work together here all right so it's about community obviously now there are times when the drop time changes so this order this time around we ended up having the order time change about four times because there was an issue with the trucks electrical system so he ended up breaking down three times so we ended up getting the order in a day later than what was planned so that i would say if there was a major negative that would be the negative is that sometimes it's not always convenient hence also why it is a good idea to have friends and make friends who are interested in um, going in together on orders because if one of you can't be there for whatever reason hopefully another person would be able to pick things up okay so i think that's all i've got for the as or standard order if you guys have any questions if there's something that i didn't cover here go on ahead and drop a comment down below i would love to hear from you and i'd be happy to answer any of your questions Obviously, if I don't know, I don't know, but if I do know, I'm more than um, willing to try and help you guys out with this. As always, keep it simple, natural, and essential, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.